brightly beams our Father's mercy. From his light, how sever more. But to us, he gives the keeping of the lights of It's psychologically mind blowing in the fact that you're not just being terrified, it messes with your mind. The other kids, they think I'm weird. Carrie, favorite poem? Did you bring one? I don't want to be. <laughs> Help this little girl see the sin of her days and ways. She'd made innocent. The curse of blood would not It's not even in the Bible. It doesn't say that anywhere. Which. It's very extreme, the relationship that Carrie has with her mother. Go to your closet and pray. No. Pray. No! Ah! Mama! You pray, little girl. You pray no! for forgiveness. Mama! Mama! It's a story about being a loner, an outcast, and then being given power. If I concentrate hard enough, I can make things move. Crazy Carrie, crazy Carrie! When she can't cry enough, she can't scream enough, she can't speak enough, this energy within her pops out in little bursts. Carrie, stop! So you know how um, prom is next week? I was wondering if maybe you want to go with me. Her powers come out in times of excess emotion. What's gonna happen when she goes out into the world? They're gonna laugh at you. They're all gonna laugh at you. Mama, stop. <laughs> Tell them you're not going. No. You're gonna go to your closet and you're gonna pray. <laughs> Mama, I'm going. <laughs> and you got Carrie going to the prom. And we're all watching it thinking, don't go to the prom. Whenever you tap into something universally frightening, it's emotionally visceral. It is deeply upsetting and really moving. Don't hurt me, Carrie. Why not? It makes you feel like Carrie. That is what is so terrifying about it. You know the devil never dies?